Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTechCur. In this video, I'm going to order the Battery One's Mobile Game 90 FPS gameplay test in the Poco F3 GT device and how much temperature can actually increase in the Poco F3 GT. That's what I'm going to exactly demonstrate in this video. So first, let me to show you exactly what is the temperature in the beginning of the recording of the video. So is, here we go. As you can see, the battery temperature is of only 29 degrees and my room temperature is about 27.7 degrees, as you can see. So there's no AC, there's no cooler, nothing at all in my room. So it's constant low temperatures every time, like 27 point average temperature, 27.7 degrees. And phone temperature is about 29 degrees, you can clearly see. And during this time, I'll try to use the real-time floating FPS meter as well. And let's see how much the temperature can actually increase in this device. I'm going to play for a couple of minutes. So you can clearly see in the background the stopwatch is also started at this moment and uh, let me try to start playing the match and we'll be able to see exactly 90 fps coming on the top so at this moment by default we don't get 90 fps so if you want to play 90 fps in the poco f3 gt you need to use the gfx tool or maybe the config file and another main reason why the config file at this moment i'm not trying to able to give you because sometimes the account will definitely get banned yes so this is happening frequently with me as well. I think a few of my accounts got completely banned so for one month or some kind of duration. That's the reason you should be very careful when you're trying to use this kind of uh, config file overall. And I'm trying to use the triggers as well, real-time floating triggers. So you'll be able to see exactly. So right now you should be able to see the temperature, so how it's increasing. So in the beginning it showed only 30 degrees. Now right now it started to increase a little bit. Right now it's showing I think 35.6 temperatures at this moment. So little by little it started to increase. And let's check the, the thermometer temperatures. It's of 33. It's detecting as you can see. Overall, we should be not having any kind of issues while playing at uh, 90 FPS in this Poker 3 GT device. It was really good. And even the dual speakers were fantastic. So by the time the one match has been finished and the time is about close to 6 minutes and 35 seconds let me just show you the exact what is the temperature in the battery settings and let's go to the battery and this is a test which i'm trying to do using the 90 fps so 37 degrees it went up to high as you can see so i can be back after some time and let me try to start playing the game outside it's of 36 degrees showing but inside will be slightly higher than the outside temperatures so i'm gonna try to play the game for a couple of uh, minutes again Final friends, after playing for a second match, so second match I did play only using 90 FPS only continuously. Let me try to show you exactly the what is the temperatures at this moment, how much it got increased. And you can see the stopwatch is going on in the back side. So right now the temperatures went up to 39 degrees. 39 degrees if you play using the 90 FPS team that match in the Poco F3 GT. Right now the time is about close to 30 minutes of time. And during this time, I did not face any kind of lag or any kind of delay, nothing at all. There's not much heavy frame drops happen. So throughout the time it was able to maintain really good stable uh, FPS, I, I mean above 85 FPS only. So you should not have any kind of issues while playing the team that match. And just, just a basic test which I thought of doing on this phone. And very soon I'll try to do the classic match test as well. So stay tuned for those videos in case if you're interested. I can actually do those videos as well. And you can feel the heat coming from the back side in this, from this portion. Not much heat. It's kind of okay, acceptable. Because playing at 90 FPS, different defense will see a lot of uh, heat as well, but that's not happening in this case. It's not much heat. It's kind of decent. Okay, not an issue. And this, as you can see, friends, overall it's been close to 15 minutes of continuously playing the Badewan's mobile game, in the 90 FPS. As you can see, the response in terms of the triggers, it's not bad. In terms of the response, it's very fast. So still, I did like using the triggers as well overall. So you can see the real-time FPS meter, how much I'm getting at this moment. It's, it was able to maintain really good FPS count. Not an issue. That's it friends, thank you for watching this video. This is a quick gameplay review which I thought of showing you using the 90 FPS. Will the phone get heat or not? Because even the 90 will definitely 
battery will drain and tem temperature will also increase slightly more if you try to use a 90 fps but overall i cannot see much kind of uh, increase in temperature temperatures and battery draining and i need to do the separate video as well battery draining test so very soon i'll try to plan that video so overall after three matches let me to check the final temperatures 39 degrees so that's it friends thank you for watching see in the next video and let's to phone updates meanwhile signing off